What's up guys, Lon here from Android Authority, and the new LG V10 has a military rating of 810G, which makes it extremely resilient to drops. So we decided to put that to the test to see exactly how durable the LG V10 is. So LG basically challenged us to test the durability of this device, and what makes the V10 810G Transit Drop compliant is the build materials. The frame is made of SAE grade 316L stainless steel, and the top, bottom, and back of the phone is composed of DuraSkin, which is not only soft and grippy to the touch, but it also provides a lot of protection against impact and is very resistant to nicks and scratches. The whole idea behind many of these drops was to mimic real life scenarios like the phone falling off of a counter, falling from pocket height, or out of your lap when you're getting out of your car, but we also wanted to push the V10 to its limit, so you're also going to see a lot of unrealistic drops here as well, but let's go ahead and take a look at all the drops that the V10 had to endure and see exactly how well it fared. about 10 to 15 drops, some realistic, some not. You can see that the screen has shattered, but this actually did not happen until the final drop where I tossed it vertically in the air and let it hit the pavement, which is something no one would ever do to their smartphones. And this was simply just to see how far the V10 could actually go before finally breaking. Overall, the V10 withstood the punishment surprisingly well, and up until the very final drop, the V10 just had a bunch of minor nicks and scrapes along the metal rails, camera ring and the DuraSkin body. Even though the screen did break, if this was any other smartphone, it probably would have been a lot worse. As beat up as the V10 is at this point, it is still a fully functional phone, and both the main display and the secondary screen still work perfectly fine. All in all, I have to say that I'm very impressed with how well it held up through all that punishment, even if it technically isn't a ruggedized smartphone. So basically the main takeaway here is as long as the phone is being dropped under normal or realistic circumstances, it's going to be able to take a licking and keep on ticking, and if your lifestyle requires that durability, the V10 is definitely worth considering. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up down below, and also subscribe to the channel, which is also down below if you haven't already. And if you want to see more here from us at Android Authority, make sure to check the videos that are linked on the side, and also check the website as well for more in-depth coverage, AndroidAuthority.com, because we are your source for all things Android. Thank <laughs> you.